Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about the election prediction everybody's been waiting on and sending messages about. Historian and distinguished professor at American University, Alan Lichtman, has made his prediction as to who's going to win the presidential election in 2024. Lichtman has a unique record when it comes to predicting the outcomes of the U.S. presidential elections. He's been correct nine times out of ten if you're going by who took office after the election. However, the one instance when he was wrong about who would eventually inhabit 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue was the 2000 election. You know, the Bush v. Gore election that is still hotly debated today. Lichtman's system is based on a series of true-false statements about the incumbent party. We have a couple of videos going over how the statements work in detail, but here's a brief recap. Lichtman calls them keys, as in keys to the White House. There are 13 keys in his system, and each key is a true or false statement related to the political situation in the U.S. If eight or more of the 13 keys are true for the incumbent party, its candidate will win the election. But if fewer than eight are true, the opposing party will win. He described the system in a recent video as, quote, big picture true-false questions that tap into the strength and performance of the White House party. When RFK Jr. dropped out of the race and joined forces with the establishment billionaire, that made certain the incumbent party, the Democrats, would have another key. It was debated whether or not RFK's candidacy really counted as a meaningful third-party run. But when he dropped out, it no longer mattered. So, there are still two, key, two other keys that are being debated. Both of them deal with foreign policy. And as Lichtman says, quote, foreign policy is tricky and these keys could flip. But even if both fell in favor of the Republican candidate, the Democrats still have eight of the keys. That led Lichtman to making his prediction, saying, quote, Kamala Harris will be the next president of the United States. At least, that's my prediction for the outcome of the race. Lichtman seemed aware of the observer effect because he followed his statement up by saying, quote, But the outcome is up to you, so get out and vote. So there you have it. According to the prophet of presidential elections, the caller of commander-in-chief, the picker of Pennsylvania Avenue, the heralder of the head of the state, the, I could do this all day, but I'll spare you. The keys say Harris is headed to victory, but the real decider of democracy is you. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.